show you um, fairly quick how you can uh, make something interesting in processing with this audio visualizer. So by default, the code that I give you when you run it, you just press this play, it doesn't do anything, right? So if you were to add this ellipse, and I'll show you why this would work. Um, uh, the where you want to look is inside the draw method and this for loop is kind of the main area because it's going through and looking at everything that's um, stored in that FFT object and you can do FFT get band I um, related to this and this goes through um, spec size is about 212 I believe and so it goes through and looks at all the different values and so um, what an ellipse does is this is the x value, so it's going to start out at 0 and then go all the way over to 512. So there's going to be these ellipses kind of right on top of each other. Um, they are, um, the y is 200 down, which is about the middle of our screen since we're at 320. Um, and then uh, this is the width, 7 pixels. So they're going to overlap, but that's okay. And then this is the height. And so based upon a, the, the pitch that it reads, the height will be higher or lower. So if I run this, um, you'll see that I, I, as I talk, that's um, moving like that, which is kind of cool. Um, if you wanted to, you could add some kind of color in there. I have this fill. Um, 250 um, zero, zero is a red. So now if I stop and run this, as I talk, we should see red go. Um, and if you play some kind of music, It's very cool. Um, and so you can do other things though, like um, experiment with, I'll show you some code here. Um, I'll get the highest and record that spot where the highest is located. I'm gonna comment this out for the time being. And um, I have this logarithm here, which you guys pretty much know how to do this at this point. So to find the highest, you um, uh, start it out high at zero and if, FFT.getBandI is greater than high, then we make high equal to that spot and then uh, to that value, and then we save that spot. And so that I'll use that. So then now you should get an ellipse at different areas on the screen, basically based upon, oh, you know what? I'm going to put this outside the for loop. I'm going to end the for loop there. And then um, based upon uh, the, the highest spot, it's gonna locate that, and then um, the size will be based upon that. And so if we play this, now you see it's just kind of one oval, but in different locations based on. So another interesting effect. And you can do other shapes other than ovals. Um, experiment, have fun with this, and um, let me know if you have any questions.